lots of them. And Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler, Paimon. Oh, and Lady Kuching. It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hardworking as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kuching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. Right. Thank you, TT. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. Traveler, let's go find. <laughs> the healthiest drink is tea.
Lady Kuching, what is- No, thank you. Oh, we- He doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to... How can I help? <gasps> Where did you come from? Yes. Hello. I am Kuching. Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Uh, anyway, we're here to give you some lantern right presents. See? There's lots of tasty food! Hmm. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me.
<sighs> Eradicating demons is my duty. You don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body. Even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger... Good. And he's gone! Well, Xiao hasn't changed a bit. All right, we've completed our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh no, what should we do? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Feng Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... <sighs> The person we left in charge came back shortly after, and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth, and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady Kuching, what should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. No, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi.
help too, Kuching. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pengyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened.
As a matter of fact, Uncle Dai is one of... What is it we have... I believe you'll be... Ooh, looking... I have no reason. I'm sure the detail... I am indeed. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? How could you tell? <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Right again? You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Di can see what you're made of from a long way off. All right, my assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Woo woo! That's why we're here! Now there's someone else taking a cut? Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. It just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary to say. Last time I checked. Besides, this I'd go as far to say that you're a fool. Oh, and why? Because to that number. Ha ha! I know that Xiang Li is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Xiang Li, there you are! Oh. Here for a few tales? I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. Something I'm rarely short of. We need someone who understands geology and ore! Hmm... Someone who understands geology and ore... Ugh. Take a look around! Is there anyone in Tavat more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted Tavat's number one rock expert, but Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. 
New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Ugh. Stop being so modest, Young Lee. Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. Oh, and uh, this must be the friend you spoke of? Yep. Hyman doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh-huh, so you say. Wait till my guy gets here, then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I, I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses... Uh, uh, never mind, Zhang Li won't... A contest? Why... I admire your enth... <laughs> I must say... Stop talking to... I'm just saying it like... So you're an... Well, no. He saw me hold... Huh? I saw him on my way over to Li Yua. I asked him a few questions. Do you have a... Not exactly. Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior. Ah. That... It's no ordinary. Remarkable. This rock does purity and geology in the moment of its formation. Such a detailed... Say... Everything he said is... Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural be... Uh, I've yet to encounter... I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Of course not! I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. Uncle Dai, it... Very well. There is strength...
This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and... Huh. Underground, overground... We left no stone unturned. We tried ev- We'll need to explore the site. Very well. I'll wait. So strange. How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? Over here! What's this? A pile of sh- huh. One... Huh. These must be- The four of them have been gone- There's also a few hankered- Items for washing- So... They- Hmm. Correct. Improbable. There are four pickaxe. They had time to take their tools, but not their. Huh. One, they were. Or two. Oh. It's certainly. If they didn't. Let's look around first and see if we can find any clues. What do you have there? Oh, right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues with it. Ore? What does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. <sighs> okay. Treating really hard. What's he up to? I see four men following someone out of the mine. It it looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not sure. Also, how did you exactly oh I, I don't mean see in the traditional sense I, I I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret it's a little odd I've never dared to tell anyone before I can perceive the memories of ore huh? perceive so there's no conjecture at work a rock and boom it just happens i've always sensed that ore contains memories sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area all i have to do is touch one and focus my attention and the memories come to me amazing so you can find out everything that ever happened there it depends on the ore some ores have astounding memories Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. 
This will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it! Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, yes, I... Uh, I stayed behind with the other four. I ended up falling, maybe... So the men that were perhaps an accident... Ah, uh, what is an on-site... Found some clues! Time to report back to Uncle Dai! You're back. How are the investigations going? We found three c First, there are four- Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who oh, indeed. Second, there were those who kept working all disappeared. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply... This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his, uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch him. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right, me and my men will get going. So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon bets he's still investigating. Let's go find him.
Ah, apologies. I'm Dragonfall. Dragonfall is often I I I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been in fact I've been f Oh, pipe I don't it sounded so familiar to me. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our Really? Think nothing up. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the Great! Let's have a look. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went! We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Hi there! Have you... A miner? Uh. Hello! Have... Stop bothering! Jeez! Whatever!
too far. Hey there! It must have been about... Yeah! Four or five... It was so strange. Huh. I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And... Yes, they... Let's go out!
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. <laughs> 